Welcome to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. Um, today, we're going to have two guests. We have Jennifer and Margie, and uh, we're all psychic mediums. Uh, we read cards, um, facilitators of the healing arts. We each do our own modality. But for right now, I'm gonna give the floor over to each one so they can introduce themselves and who they are. And after that point, ladies, we're gonna go ahead and talk about a couple different subjects to include uh, the money envelopes that Margie will talk about, the pendulums <laughs> that Jennifer's gonna explore. And I have these salt baths and uh, just a way to clear your energy. And it doesn't need to cost a fortune. <coughs> it could be actually free. Uh, so with that, Margie, please. Hi guys, um, my name is Margie. Um, I have my own business called Kuna Luna. And um, this right here, if you can see it, is a um, lucky red envelope. Um, in the Chinese culture, they give these to, um, for the Chinese New Year's to bring them good luck, fortune or whatnot. And they put money in it. But these lucky ones actually have ancestry money in it. I mean, if I can pull them out, I should have got him ready before. <laughs> Hold on. All right, there he is. And this is what it looks like in the front. And this is what it looks like in the back. So what you do with these is that um, they have different amounts you can get. And you you burn it at your altar or wherever your sacred area is. Um, and you're burning it to your ancestors, your guides, your loved ones, God, Jesus, Buddha, whatever. And they're still doing their, their bidding over there. They're still doing um, their work. Even though they're not with us physically, they're still doing their work on the other side. And they're helping us. They're guiding us. So you're calling for them. So you want to give them um, money for them to get or do whatever they need to do over there. Um, that's another way to um, do a ritual to uh, give your your ancestor, um, ancestors things uh, for them to have. Um, yeah, so that's what it is. And if you are interested to get any of them, um, you can message um, us on the link below. I will have Margie's information, Jennifer's information, and of course my information. If you would like to book a reading, um, Jennifer, please tell them who you are and All right. a little bit of what you do. A little bit. Um, hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, so I do intuitive readings, energy readings, um, distance healing. And before I started my spiritual journey, before I knew and had confirmed my spiritual gifts, I was at a medical phys metaphysical shop in Colorado and I was looking at the pendulums and none of them would work for me. And the lady that worked there, she said, you don't pick the pendulum, they pick you. So um, here's a beautiful pendulum that um, one of the vendors here has created. And when you get a pendulum, you wanna, you wanna calibrate it. Um, you just wanna ask it, show me yes. And my yes spins clockwise, show me no. And it's a straight line and then show me I don't know and that would be counterclockwise and then of course you want to make sure that you cleanse your pendulum um, before or after each use and stop so this is a way to do dousing and ask questions um, I believe that it's best to ask questions of things other than yourself because you can influence the answer when you do it that way and, and that's it Thank you. I, I also want to say that's why oftentimes I, I do a lot of readings for many readers and I have other readers read for me. In fact, these are two of the readers. Um, <laughs> but, uh, it's because just like the pen, pendulum, as a reader, you could get in your own way or oh, yeah. see Very or true. misinterpret uh, a situation because it's how I want to see it. Mm -hmm. um, now I do, uh, I, I'm, 
I do alchemy is one of the things that I do. And when I host psychic medium events and <clears throat> and have people that we gather negative energy, just going amongst the population of people or it doesn't, we just gather negative energy. So it's only natural that we should clear our negative energies. Mm, yeah. sure. And uh, there's times that we do need our energy centers worked on. Mm -hmm. We do need additional work. Yes. But just to clear out your um, uh, energy of negative energies, if you do not live by salt water, um, <clears throat> you know, a bag of, uh, here's Petrella's Ancient Healing Arts Spell Breaker. But honestly, this is blended with different herbs and fragrant fragrances. Here, smell this lady. Uh, but, ooh, ooh very nice. nice. Isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. However. Relaxing, very. It is. <laughs> yeah. Lavender, right? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we are. Mm -hmm. So as we... But if you, uh, as those old ladies that I learned from, they'd say, just go get a box of salt. It costs 50 cents. And it's true because it's your intention mm -hmm. of the clearing of the water. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter your um, religion. It's about your spirituality and your intention. Mm -hmm. So uh, any of you, we're going to be doing this quite often, almost every Friday if you wanted to check in with us. Have questions, we'll try to get the answers if we do not have the answers. Oddly enough, uh, between the three of us, we come from three different cultures yes. of people. You're actually an islander. I right? am, I'm definitely. I'm from Panama, I'm from the India from Panama. Um, yeah, then I was adopted when I was three, and then moved to Florida, and yeah, and here I am now. <laughs> and Jennifer. Um, well, I was born here, but my mother is half, um, I'm half Korean, my mother's full Korean. So I lived in Korea uh, a couple times before kindergarten and in my careers, my previous lives, I've, I've lived all over the world. So, uh, yeah. Wow. So here we are. If you have any questions, we, we're dabbling in the paranormal, uh, cryptids. Have any of you had a cryptid experience? Mm, oh, yes. Have you? Yes. Please do tell. Um, well, so, let's see. The very <laughs> first one I ever had, um, probably um, when I was going to take a shower, and um, my friend um, said that she felt like there's a spirit in her home, um, her daughter's scared of her. Uh, it makes uh, it just does weird things in the house, and I was just like, okay. And then we had a day. She wanted me to come over, and um, so I think it was the next day I was supposed to come over there. And I was getting uh, nobody was in my home. It was just me, and I was getting ready to go take a shower, and I felt a presence inside my home. And I was just like, hmm, okay. And so I just continued to do what I'm doing and got in the shower, washed my hair, and Lord would say, like, it was like right there in front of my face. I was just like, oh, I opened my eyes and there and she was. was. It was a, it was a girl. It was the girl who she because the spirit knows. They yeah. know what where we're gonna do, what's gonna happen. Yeah. They know the past, present, and future. Sure. So she already knew that I was gonna come over there. And so she was checking me out and she scared the bejesus out of me. Of because course. you know, and <laughs> I was just like, Listen, I am not yeah. gonna hurt you. You need to back up. You know, and I called in my guides and everyone to guard me, to protect my aura and my sacred space. And, um, and I told her, I I'm not going to hurt you, okay? But I am going to check it out and everything. Um, sure. But if you want me to help you, I will help you to go to the other side. But she, when we, then her meaner, the way she was looking changed because when she first came to me, she was so scared. It reminded me of the um, the ring, if anybody's seen that movie. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it, that's what she looked like. And I was just like, 
whoa, back up. Yeah. And <laughs> after I told her, like, listen, my intention is, is nothing but peace and, and love, and I will help you and sure. um, to pass over if that's what you want. But you can't be scaring people over there either. Like, you gotta have, you have to have. Uh, um, a balance yeah, of some kind and if they want you to leave you're going to have to leave then because that's their home you mm -hmm. know um, and then she just her meaner like I said just changed and then she like disappeared and that was it I continued to push out <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you, you've had paranormal experiences right oh yeah I got yeah how can you be our age and not right yeah <laughs> um, what's what my, is Hey, you know what? Let's go to your biggest one. The, I guess the one. But I was thinking for next week, why don't we do a segment on the same thing, paranormal experiences. Mm -hmm. And we could go with the dark and we'll go also with the light. Because sure. really, if there's angels, you know there's demonic oh, yeah. energies. Right? Balance. So, <laughs> yeah, there's that balance. So, hey, how about that for the subject for next week? Perfect. Sure. I love that. Okay. It. But go ahead. Tell us your paranormal experience. <laughs> I guess my most recent one was um, I developed a friendship with this woman online. Never met her in person. And everything that she did for her business was online, but she never showed her face. And I'd had phone calls with her, uh, video calls, regular phone calls, because she lives in another state, and never really knew what she looked like, like in person. So I called her to show her my soul portrait from your last event, and she actually answered the phone. And I saw her, and I was frightened. Mm. Really? Um, like you guys have seen the exorcist the, oh yeah. my god yeah the, the original <laughs> she looked like reagan oh my gosh just like a tall forehead it looked like she had eruptions on her face mm. and just the hair mm. and and then i could hear myself when i spoke i could hear my echo on her side and i asked her if the tv was on and she said no and so i was like let me call you back over the phone and I did, and we talked for a little while, and and then I told her that there's something on her, mm. and I'll get rid of it. Mm. And I, with the help of the archangels uh, Michael and Gabriel, mm -hmm. I took the entity from her and sent it back from where it came from, changed the vibration, Amen. and mm. you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. had it go where it needed to go because it's not always evil doesn't always want to do you harm, but it doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. Right. So you want right. to send them on the bus. Yes. And send them home. Mm -hmm. And then you, you cut the ties and you bind it for protection. Exactly. And that's what I did. Yeah. I did that for her. Mm -hmm. And then I cleansed myself. Yeah. my space. Yeah. Big, because that's big. important. That's very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I don't prefer sage because it's, I live in my mom's finished basement. So I use Palo Santo. Oh, I, I love, love Palo, Palo Santo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just take the stick and I walk around mm -hmm. and I set my intention for yes. all the negative energy to leave my space mm -hmm. and for the positive to come back into my space. And then um, I could close my eyes and sleep. <laughs> and so it is. Yeah. You know what? I had a similar experience. I do international readings and I was doing a reading for uh, a gentleman in Belgium and we were on FaceTime. And as soon as I looked at him, behind him mm -hmm. was a demonic energy. Oof, and yeah. it was like, yikes. Mm -hmm. yes. So right away, I knew it had to do with a mask or some kind of um, uh, artifact or something that he had brought back from the jungle oh, somewhere. Wow. Oh, yeah. And so actually, that's how I started the whole reading is, sir, you brought back a demon with you. Right. You, oh my were goodness. you recently at the jungle somewhere? And he said, oh my God, you're, yes. And he never, yeah. Mm, so, hardcore. yeah, so. Ooh, I just got the chills. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here Woo! we go. Yeah. Right there. So, um, and so next week, let's start on this. We'll go more with the dark or the light. Or to tell you the truth, we're only 15 minutes into this. Do you guys I have another, I have an angel story. Yes, I would okay. love to hear it. 
I'm pretty sure your yes. audience would love to hear it too. <laughs> you know what? I needed to hear it. I needed to hear this. Somebody called and uh, booked a reading. And, and so uh, this uh, woman was also from overseas. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was really desperate. Actually, she was uh, committing suicide. She had mm -hmm. a car in a garage. Mm -hmm. And she was having it run. And as she was running the car mm -hmm. to poison herself, Aww. she watched YouTube channels to pass the time. And as you girls know, I never watch my YouTube channels. Right. I will never watch this. I don't want to hear my voice or, oh my God, what I look like. <laughs> However, right. I said something in one of my videos and I said, just stop it. You're just about to do something really stupid. And sometimes you cannot reverse stupid. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so and it was too late, mm -hmm. you know, and um, here <clears throat> she shut off her car and in tears, she prayed and she asked oh. the divine to send her uh, the angel of joy to her, the angel of joy. So at that point, mm -hmm. she called and then she booked a reading with me. Uh, I was doing the reading and before people read for me, like I take about 10 minutes and uh, I get into their energy and kind of mm -hmm. see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And uh I couldn't get anything. There was a nine foot laughing <laughs> angel standing behind this woman. And I got no other information. So now it's already prepaid for. I had to call her and say, I am so sorry. I, I get no information except for a nine foot laughing angel. And that's it. And um, she that's burst into much. tears and she said, Petrella. I gotta tell you, that's all I needed to hear. Nice. Because, awesome. and then she oh told me goodness. the story how she was killing herself the day before. Oh my. Uh, prayed for this angel of joy, and now I'm confirming it. And after that interaction exchanged, <laughs> all this uh, information for this woman started to flood in. Then I was allowed to do my job. Yes. And, um, mm -hmm. And that's, I, sometimes that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what, ladies, I have to say, as uh, you know, we have all been on our face before the divine. Mm. And I needed to hear that when I prayed too for an angel of joy mm. or an angel of healing, that my prayers also have been Good heard. Yeah. And sure. So it's odd that she needed to hear that, but I think I needed to hear it more. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to continue to pray and, you know, oh. ask for the signs because you will get it from so many different things, from oh, people, places, yeah. things. Like, it does come. Just be patient and continue to do it. Yes. It really, really will work. There's definitely power in prayer. Oh, and, yes. you know. I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever you pray to, it time is is oh, a construct mm -hmm. that humans created mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it yeah. it is on mm -hmm. their divine timing exactly you know for for the good of all that's involved and mm -hmm. sometimes even in tragedy it's you know our oh, life was right. planned before we took our first breath mm -hmm. yeah we yes. could do a whole show on that actually yes. That's so mm -hmm. true. Uh, well mm -hmm. look for private readings i will have their information along with mine and the link below. Um, look, I'm really trying to get my channel to go and grow. It's fast and it's free, it really does help me. If you click the like, share, and subscribe, and leave a kind comment, yeah. uh, that's fast and it's free. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you that bought a super thanks, thank you so much, and with that, God bless you. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>